This is a Sports Catastrophe production. Hey there, other there, there, it's Jeff Cutter Diamond. Welcome you to another Sports Catastrophe Birthday Boy and the Birthday Boy to start the month of September. Is a star for the Colorado Avalanche, who is also a number one overall pick and a Stanley Cup champion, and is the current MVP of the NHL headed into the 2024-25 season. He's been known as one of the best vice hockey players of his generation, and boy, how he does he deserve it. Today, he turns 29 years old. His name is Nathan McKinnon. Nathan McKinnon was born in Halifax, but grew up in the minor league system of Cole Harbor, Nova Scotia, where another famous hockey player played. That's right. Cole Harbor is the home of Sidney Crosby. McKinnon put up some great numbers as an Adam Age and a Phantom AAA player. And then he was enrolled in a high school in Minnesota called Shattuck St. Mary's. He wanted to do the Minnesota boarding school because of the strength of its ice hockey program. And he did quite well for himself. Anyhow, Shadok St. Mary's was a pretty good school. And then McKinnon was allegedly going to be in the Quebec Junior Hockey League draft. Also, there were rumors circling he could have played in the NCAA for hockey. Bay Como selected him first overall in the 2011 Quebec League draft, so he might have went to Quebec. However, because he did not speak French, there was speculation he would follow through with his option to play in the USHL until he was eligible for the NCAA. But Colo, instead of being pricks about it, decided to trade McKinnon's rights to Halifax for Carlos Gelina Francis to buy Halifax's first round picks in 2012 and 2013, and Halifax having an additional first round pick in 2013 via Quebec. So, McKinnon did his job and all that. He scored five goals in one game as a 16-year-old against the Quebec Ramparts and against Patrick Waugh, who was their head coach. A couple of years later, he would be headed to the Memorial Cup and help Halifax win the Memorial Cup, which is unusual for an Atlantic, an Atlantic province team. But he did it. Seven goals in four games. Now, the Memorial Cup is the champions of the Ontario League, the Western League, and the Quebec League. With the fourth team being a host team, or if that host team did win the playoff tournament for Ontario, Western, or Quebec, the league runner-up. Colorado had the first overall pick in 2013 and knew they were going to use it on Nathan McKinnon. And rumors were circulating it was either McKinnon or even Seth Jones, a defenseman who grew up in Denver, Colorado, because his father, Ronald Popeye Jones, played ball for the Nuggets. Well, I knew he had to draft him. So they did use McKinnon. Seth Jones fell to fourth overall by Nashville. McKinnon would sign his first NHL contract, a three year deal. And then would make his debut to begin the 2013-14 season, being the youngest player dressed for the Avalanche franchise. He put up two assists in his first game. Ten years later, he was scored his first annual goal off of Michael Neuvert of the Washington Capitals. He played all 82 games in his rookie campaign with 63 points, 24 goals. Colorado was the second seed in the West. Unfortunately, though, Minnesota shocked them in seven games in a series that I actually predicted for some strange reason. I'm like, Colorado doesn't look that strong. That's why Mike pulled one out of the hat. Revision of the 2003 dancing in my head. But the good news is that Nathan McKinnon won the Calder, becoming the third in Avalanche history to do so after Chris Drury and Gabe Landeskog. Kitchener!
Yeah, of course, the Calder is the one for the rookie. So anyway, McKinnon will get his first career hat trick February 2015 against Tampa. By his sophomore season, he had the sophomore jinx, only putting up 38 points. And he picked up a little bit of time. He'll be named an alternate captain for the Avalanche. October 13, 2016. So prior to the 2017-18 season, McKinnon hired a sports psychologist who drastically helped him improve his play and merge as one of the league's premier players and picked up a five-point game against Washington. He was selected for the All-Star game. Then he put up numbers. It helped out. 39 goals, 58 assists, 97 points. As the average would be the eighth seed in the West and clinch a playoff spot for the first time in four years. Unfortunately, though, Nashville would beat them in the first round in six games. He was actually named finalist for the Ted Lindsay Award, which is the NHL's most outstanding player, voted by the, his fellow players, but lost to Conor McDavid. He was a Hart finalist, but lost to Taylor Hall. After finishing the 2019 season with 99 points in 82 games, The Avalanche were the even final playoff team again, but somehow they beat Calgary in five games. Making McKinnon finally go to the second round. They lost to the Sharks in seven games. McKinnon was actually on pace for 100 points for the 2020 season. However, though, COVID ruined it. He had 93 points. He was still given the Lady Bing Memorial Trophy for a gentlemanly play. And McKinnon was a finalist for the Hart Trophy, but lost to Leon Dreisaitl. When while Colorado won the President's Trophy as the regular season champs for 2021, McKinnon was named the finalist for the Hart in Ted Lindsay, but once again fell flat, losing to Connor McDavid. So anyway, the yeah, Avalanche in 2022 were the best team in the Western Conference by points. Fortunately, though, Colorado would not blow a chance as McKinnon and crew won the Cup in 2022 over the two-time division champion Tampa Bay Lightning in six games. McKinnon would score 13 goals in the 2022 playoffs, being number one, and put up 11 assists for 24 points. He looked like he was going to be the Conn Spike Trophy winner for playoff MVP, but sadly, though, he lost out to fellow teammate Kale McCarr. Nevertheless, Colorado signed him to an eight-year, $100.8 million extension, meaning that he would have an average annual salary of $12.6 million. And his 23-24 season would make everyone stand up and know about the, the deal. He put up 51 goals, 89 points, 140 no, 51 goals, 89 assists, 140 points. Second to Nikita Kucherov for the Art Ross Trophy. Nevertheless, he did beat Kucherov and Connor McDavid for the MVP trophy. So he's the defending NHL MVP. Anyway, McKinnon, so far, as of 2024, put up eight, has put up 899 points in 791 games. So if he gets a 100-point season, he's definitely at 1,000. In the playoffs, 114 points in 88 games, including a run in 2022 that saw him win the Stanley Cup. Yeah, he won the Memorial Cup in 2013. Halifax retired his number not too far ago, 2023. He won the Calder Trophy for it, Rookie of the Year in 2014. All-Star Game seven times. Lady Bing for Gentleman League Player in 2020, Stanley Cup Champion in 2022, and the Hart Trophy winner in 2024. He actually played, and he actually had a few recur recurring roles in Mr. T, a Canadian TV show. So he does it all well. And he made a couple of appearances in Trailer Park Boys. 
events. Of course, McKinnon turns to Sid the Kid for inspiration on things because, after all, they're both from Cole Harbor. So anyway, Nathan McKinnon should be a star for the foreseeable future. That's all. Anyhow, I'm going to do.